Lorna Gray. The unstoppable force that finally stopped. She was a 15-year Hollywood powerhouse that dominated the 1940s. 69 films in 15 years. She lived to be 99 years old. Three months shy of 100. She married only one man, lovers to the end. She threw pies with the Three Stooges, and starred alongside greats like John Wayne, Buster Keaton, and Boris Karloff. She had a good, long life. A life well spent. Her changing name. She was born Virginia Pound, 1917. In 1937, at Paramount Picture she was Virginia Pound. In 1938 to 1945 Columbia changed her name to Lorna Gray. In 1945, at Republic, she renamed herself, Adrian Booth. Her changing roles. She began as a comedian at Columbia. Then she got on a horse and did westerns. And dramas and romantic parts. She is best known for her Republic Pictures serials, where she was both hero and villain. She was a great villain in Federal Operator 99 in 1945 as Rita Parker. And in Perils of Nyoka in 1942 as the cult favorite, Vulturer. She could play a hero too. In the 1946 film Daughter of Don Q she was hero Dolores Quantero. But more often, she was the hero's partner as in Captain America. She married actor David Bryan in 1949 and retired from motion pictures. They remained married till his death in 1991. David Bryan was a Golden Globe nominated actor. Helping Orphans. She joined Jane Russell, who founded the World Adoption International Fund, helping the American adoption of foreign-born children. Jane was mother to three adopted children. Ordained minister. Lorna Gray's life of compassion, especially to children, drew her to become a fully ordained minister. Remembered. Lorna Gray was awarded the Golden Boot Award in 1998. In her 90s, she was still attending film festivals. The Final Sunset. She died in 2017 in Sherman Oaks, California. A friend remarked, I will treasure all my memories of her warm, welcoming smile and her gracious hospitality. Godspeed, Adrian. She truly had a good, long and interesting life. A life well spent.